This one is probably gonna piss a lot of people off because today we're gonna talk about if dropshipping is actually a passive income or it's just people who portray it that way when in reality it's not that at all. And this is a topic where there's tons of misconceptions people have and they basically think it doesn't really require work in the long run and you can basically chill and just get money thrown at you for free without anything to do. And honestly, I thought the same. And when I made my first half a million dollars with dropshipping, after that, I had a crazy downfall and I lost a insane amount of money because I did stupid mistakes and I'm going to talk about that in a video. However, before I do that, let's start with your expectations and what you can expect over the next couple of years for your dropshipping business if you actually do the work and do things right. Now, to set this straight, dropshipping is not easy at all. Dropshipping is hard. It's definitely not a business model where you just invest half an hour per day and you're gonna make a living out of it without actually putting in a bunch of work and time and effort and sometimes also money. And you need to understand that dropshipping can be extremely frustrating and can take up a lot of your energy and you're gonna have a lot of moments where you actually wanna quit because nothing works. However, if you actually push through and really do the things properly and overcome those issues, you will make a crazy amount of money for the effort you put in. And now at some point there will be a moment where you're gonna be able to work an hour or two per day and make tons of money with it. But in the beginning, it's different. To, to automate your business, you need to have three components. Number one, a winning product. Obviously you need to start making legit numbers to actually be able to, to optimize everything. Number two, you need to have a lot of backup structures. So it's not only one winning product, but multiple winning products, multiple Facebook accounts, multiple platforms, multiple everything. So if one thing goes down, you're not at zero. And number three is you need to outsource like 90% of your work. If you have those three things in place, you will definitely experience a moment where you actually can sit back, relax, and start just watching your bank account grow by you putting in like 30 minutes to an hour per day. However, you need to reach that point and it's not as easy as it seems like, okay? The first hurdle which everybody has is finding their first winning product. And after that's done, you need to start diversifying everything you possibly can and at the same time understand how your day-to-day -day life works because you're gonna see, all right, three hours per day I invest into this, four hours I put into this, whatever. And you're gonna understand, all right, all of this time I could also spend by teaching a person to do the same thing and they're gonna do it for me for a salary and I'm gonna save my time. Because there's gonna be a shifting moment where right now your time is probably worth less than your money. If you don't have a lot of money saved up, I would always argue that your time is less valuable than your money. This means that rather than hiring somebody to do things for you, you need to do it by yourself and save money for that, all right? However, there's gonna be a tipping moment where you're gonna start making a lot of money and then your time is gonna become way more valuable. And you should start exchanging money for your time, all right? You should just give away money so people do things for you. And here, a lot of things can go wrong. And this leads me to the story of how I lost like hundreds of thousands of dollars back in the day because I watched all those YouTube videos and everybody was like, all right, you find a winning product and that's it. After you found a winner, you can travel the world, do whatever the fuck you want and not have to worry about shit. And I trusted that and I also had this in my head and I was like, all right, I'm just gonna go to Barcelona, party, go crazy, do whatever I want when in reality, I was not ready for that. I lived in Barcelona for like three months and lost almost everything I made from the first half a million dollars I had. So from the first half a million dollars I made through dropshipping, I lost almost everything in literally three months. I had a bunch of mistakes. I didn't diversify and I only had like a few stores running on the same Facebook accounts. I had no idea what I was doing there. I didn't do accounting properly. I didn't do, I had no idea how, how taxes work. I had a bunch of mistakes. And on top of that, I had a bunch of virtual assistants, which I thought I can trust, which I couldn't trust because they scammed me like crazy. And I didn't even notice that because I had no idea of how to track them, how to manage them, how to make sure how many hours they need to work properly. And now in retrospect, I understand that. But back in the day, I did the mistake of thinking that I have a passive business just because I have a winning product. Like, I didn't have good people who work for me and that was that. And then because I started having this approach of me not having to do things but need, needing to outsource everything, I started outsourcing things which I couldn't even do myself. If I didn't perfectly know 
how to do email marketing or SMS marketing or, or email support or whatever, I cannot outsource that because I don't know if the person is doing that well or bad if I have never done it. And I started giving away things which were super important and even including like accounting and understanding the numbers. If I don't understand my numbers, nobody's going to tell them for me. And the main thing here was if I don't know how to calculate my numbers, how would I manage a person who's doing the numbers for me? If they do all the accounting, I just see a number. That's how much I made and that's it. I have no clue how to control if they're actually right or wrong because I've never done it. And this is a key learning which you need to understand. Before outsourcing everything, you need to be able to do it. Again, before outsourcing anything, you need to be able to do it by yourself. And only after you are allowed to do this. All right. My main problem was that I had a mentor for the first part, finding a winning product. I got help for that and he literally changed my entire business. I started making a crazy amount of money. Everything was amazing. However, then we stopped working together because he didn't have like a continuous program and it was just a few months I was working with him. And after that, I was basically doing things by myself. And again, I was in a position where I just didn't know how to keep this going. There's a big difference in between finding your first winning product and starting to see numbers versus consistently every single month for years making at least 20k profit. There's a huge, huge, huge difference in between them. All right. And, and even though I'm super thankful to, to the mentor I had, I wish I had a person who guided me through the things even after I saw success. Because on a scale, every single mistake you do is huge. If you do the same exact mistake on a super small scale versus on a big scale, your mistake just instantly 10 X and you take the exact same action. You hire a very VA who's not that great. It doesn't matter in the beginning. It doesn't matter because he, you're going to see, all right, maybe I'm going to hire him for like an hour per, per week, two hours per week, whatever. It's not going to be a big thing and you lose like $20 per week, whatever. But if you hire a VA on a high level, which I did, and they start to hire other virtual assistants, which are basically his friends, and they're all basically connected, but he's telling me that there's way more work. I just start paying thousands of dollars every single month to all of them and I'm screwed. And it's not $20 anymore and I lose way more money. And this is the exact reason why in my program, I have people working with me for years. The, the initial program I have is basically how do you find a win first winning product? Or if you already have a winner, how to scale that, how to make things consistent. However, I just know that if you see the results from the initial program, you're going to get the next one and the next one and the next one. And those are more like a profit share deal where I get a percentage of your profit if you make more than X per month and also like a monthly retainer. And this is also one of the big reasons why I'm even doing this, because for me, this was exactly the part which I missed when I started out. And I truly don't want people to go through the same thing and just get the easy route handed to them versus finding every mistake by themselves. So if you want to apply for the program, click the link below, sign up for a free consultation session. We're going to find out if we're a good fit. If yes, we're going to get started. If no, they're not. And yeah, talk to you there.